Hello everybody, welcome to DIY Dream Weddings UK. I'm Kim and I'm going to show you the next part of this 80s resin bouquet project. Um, <clears throat> on the last video, um, we um, I actually um, did the base, part of the base of the bouquet. So we've got the base and I've actually ribboned around the edge of the base now. And we're going to put our handle in like that, okay, and stick it down. But first of all, we're going to decorate the front, okay. And as you can see with the front, what I've done is I've already cut out the templates in cardboard. Um, so all we need to do is draw around the templates and stick them together. Here's an example of the uh, 80s um, cassette tape, okay. Um, this one I've already done, but the others I'm going to show you. Hopefully I'm going to show you um, on some of these how I actually did this from scratch, okay. So that's the idea. So I'm going to take these, so you've got your 80s in the middle and all your little 80s, you've got your um, Rubik's Cube, your earphones, your um, roller skate, um, your cassette tape. I'll probably put some more in, but I wanted to just basically come on here to show you how to do the frame of the TV. So it did take a little bit of measuring and preparation to do this, okay? I'm, I'm not going to lie, it did. And what I decided to do was, the reason I cut these out, I'll tell, show you what I've done. I measured all this out onto um, some cardboard, the same size as my craft foam, because my craft foam is what I want to co cover this base in, okay? And uh, so the screen needs to be this big. So basically I drew round this craft foam onto my cardboard and then I measured out the screen, the size of the screen and everything and drew it. And I've cut out the middle piece and these two pieces so, so that I can um, use them as templates basically. So yeah, um, if you want to see how I've done all of this from scratch do let me know but it will take a little bit of time. But I will come on and show you um, how to draw templates out and things like that if you want to know. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw out, and I'm hoping this will work, because it's slightly, it's a little bit out, it's a little bit out. But what I want to do is draw, um, <coughs> draw this out, okay, so I'm going to draw this use this as a template basically and draw around the inside. So this is craft foam and, and just ordinary card that I'm using. The card that I've got here is 300 GSM but you can get a different, use a different weight if you want. This is just what I had. Okay so we just, all we want to do really is just draw, all we want to cut out really is this middle piece. Okay that's all we want to cut out. Okay so I'm indenting the foam with a cocktail stick, not cocktail stick, sorry, a wooden skewer, but you can use a cocktail stick if you want to, okay. So that is where we are with that. So we've cut, we've done that, and I'm hoping, <laughs> there's only one way of finding out, is to just cut that. I just need to trust myself and cut that. So let's have a go. So I'm going to put my knife through the middle, because I don't think... No, actually, shall we? Now let's, shall we? I'm not sure how to do this. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, I'm going to, I am going to put my, uh, don't really need this middle piece. Okay, I sometimes have to think, do I need this bit? Will I need this piece of foam as a whole piece? No, I don't think I will. So I'm just going to cut this, the inside of this out. Because what we're going to do with this, um, once it's cut out, is... We use it as a television frame, okay, and um, we will put the colour of the um, screen behind it. So we put the, another piece of foam behind this, okay. And I'm thinking, like I showed you just now, of having the, um, the blue as a, as a television screen okay so I'm just gonna I was gonna round these corners off actually I'm not sure if I'll do that now because um, let's get some bigger scissors because I want to cut this as straight as possible 
because um, I don't want to lose the edge of this frame, too much of the edge of this frame because it's a little bit flimsy. Okay, so I really have tried to think about this. Okay, so yeah. So while I'm doing this, I just want to say thanks so much for everybody supporting me so far. Um, and I hope you're enjoying what you're watching, if you're watching the whole video. If not, then I hope you enjoyed the part of it that you saw. Okay, so just cutting that out like that. Um, oh, I thought I'd cut that piece. I've quite done that. That's it, there we go, that's cut that off there. So, let's bring this back. Every so often, I will bring that. Hmm, that works, okay. So, then what we do is we choose a piece of foam to go behind for our screen. And I think we'll do this colour for... I'm not sure yet what we're going to do, but I think that's what I'm going to do. But I've got these two, where's the two panels that I had? Oh, here we are. So your panels go on like this. Okay, so we're going to cut those out and stick those on. And just working out what colour we're going to do those. So if we do those in pink. So that's how we've done the frame. I'm not sure what colour we're going to do those. I'm going to leave those for now, but what we'll do is we'll cut, we'll draw around these onto the foam like we did with this, and we'll cut them out and stick them on to the um, to the um, screen. Okay. But first of all, what I want to do because I'm not going to, I'm not sure what colour I want to do those. I'm going to show you how we do the, how we make the um, tape, how we made the tape. Um, so how we actually did that, very similar concept to the, um, so I've got my bits here. So basically I had drawn out the tape, I drew around it onto some car onto some cardboard so I could keep the template to draw around, okay? And then I cut out the insides of the tape as well to stick them inside like this. So what we're going to do now is decide what colour we want our tapes to be, tape to be, and then just stick it together. So if you wanted, like I, like I was saying, on a community page, on the community section of um, of this uh, of uh, DIY Dream Weddings, um, let me know if you would like to see um, any of this, anything that I haven't shown you. Okay, and I'll come back and show you. Okay, so if we're going to do the background green, we can do the tape any other colour really. So we could do orange, yellow, pink. I think pink would be lovely colour for the tape. And actually I think I have actually drawn out, I thought I had, drawn out the tape on one of these. Was it on this? Maybe it wasn't on one of these. Sorry guys, I thought I'd actually drawn out um, Never mind, okay we're going to do it pink anyway So what I'm going to do, I thought I'd already done that on one of these But obviously not <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind people You know when your memory's not quite right <laughs> Okay so anyway there's all these little bits and pieces And it's like a little bit like um an organized well an organized collage I suppose so um, that is really going to bug me now because I thought I'd actually drawn the shape out on one of these perhaps it was on the green one I'll find out later on <laughs> I'll find out later on when I have a look okay so we want to just draw 
I'm going to do it on this side just so that I can see where the label is because um, you could probably do actually do this on top of the label but because these don't always come off you see that won't always come off no it doesn't come off okay this is hobbycraft foam by the way and that's the problem with hobbycraft foam so we're going to draw around this okay and this is why when you do your your drawings always if you're going to do it this way if you cut out your um so i'm going to cut this out if you um cut out your drawings after you've done them because i do mine freehand um what you want to do is um draw around them again so you've got your stencil okay every shape that you cut out cut draw around and cut out again so you've got your um so you've got your stencil to draw around okay and I, I will show you how to do one of these from scratch i will okay so that is your your tape cassette okay and let me just bring back that example that I've got. I got I'm not very organised today. <laughs> I don't know where I've put that. Oh, there it is. <sighs> okay. So we're just making this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just copy what I've got there. So we're going to basically work out what colours we want this. Um, so we're going to have. You could we could have the green on the inside if we wanted to I'm not going to but we could so should we do um, this isn't the hobby craft yellow should we do orange or should we do yellow actually I like the orange let's do the orange okay so we do orange orange pink and black okay so we're going to do the same sort of thing as this okay so we need these two okay and we're gonna just draw these out so we just draw around these like this Oop. just join that up like that and then this one like this and I've been so into crafting today, I really have, I've just been like, so there we go, so we've done that like that, and I'm just going to cut that out, you know when you're just in the zone, I've been in the zone all day today, all day I've been in the zone, so yeah, so I'm just going to, so I'm going to cut these out separately, and then what we do is we stick them all on. I just wanted to show you how I did it sort of from the beginning because I thought if you want to make it then you'll know how to do it pretty much from the beginning. These things are a little bit fiddly to cut out but it's really worth it as you can see when it's done it looks really quite good. I think it does. <laughs> Let me know what you think but I think it looks quite cute when it's done. Okay, and then that will go on there like that. Okay, whichever way you want it to go. Like that, okay. And then um, we need to have, we've got, I've cut these little pieces out. So the inside, I'm going to do the same as that. So I'm going to do it pink for the inside. Inside bit. Okay, so we just draw around watching the time a bit because I don't want to go over too much with the video so it might just be cutting out the bits on this one okay so just cut that one out like this this is the bit where the um, actual tape for the cassette goes in this little bit okay don't want to lose those pieces. So that will go, let me just keep showing you so you know what I'm doing. So this piece will go in the middle. 
okay and then you'll have your um, little circles either side and these are the little pieces for the cassette okay so really small but so now we're going to go on to black so I should have some small pieces of black somewhere let's have a look I think that I found that piece of foam now that I was looking for. Hey ho, what can you do? It's under, I think it's on the trolley under here. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna use just one of those for this bit here. Actually we'll do that the tape bit first. So we just draw around the I don't know if you can you see what I'm doing? Is it a bit too far away? Should bring that in a little bit. So I'm just basically just drawing around these little bits trying to make this accurate <laughs> it's quite fiddly as you can see because it's quite it's quite fiddly um, I just want to see if that's right that's a little bit out it's been moved and keeps moving. Uh, hold on a second. It's quite, yeah, it's quite, um, I think that's kind of works. Okay, so I'm going to just cut this piece out just to see if it's all right. Okay. Okay. Right, so that's the piece that goes. too big I think I think it's moved okay bear with me because I've done this only once <laughs> I've only done this once so what I might do is if I just push that into the corner like that that might help me too my fingers used to be so much smaller <laughs> when I used to do these things before when I was a child so yeah right okay and my eyesight was a lot better as well <laughs> Okay, it's amazing how things change, isn't it? It really is. Right, okay, so that is... I want to round that off a little bit. That's better. Okay, and we'll do this one. So you can see how it goes. We're just basically drawing around these little pieces to um, put onto our so that's like that. Okay, that is, that could go in a little bit more. Was it that way? I feel like that needs to go in a bit more. So it's just basically working out how you want it to look as well. These bits do get a little bit fiddly, but you see how that works? And then, we draw around these pieces, so we've got the round pieces to do, like this. And just cut these out. So I'm going to have two of these. I'm going to use the same template for, for these, these ones. So we've got that one, we cut that a bit more round, okay, and then I'm going to do another one for the other side, and as you can see what I've done there for the inside is um, I've just cut a small piece of colour for the inside. 
So this does get a bit fiddly, but if you like fiddly stuff, you love it. If you don't, then you might not. <laughs> um, like most people would say, you can get dyes and things, uh, those sort of thing. But I like to do this by hand, otherwise it kind of ruins the fun a bit, if you know what I mean. So um, that, so you don't have to do, you don't have to do that little bit in the middle, but I think that kind of finishes it off a bit. So I did that by freehand. So I'm going to I keep a hold of all these little bits because you might want to do more than one of these tapes. You might do. What am I doing? I don't want that. So we want a pink. We want a piece of pink. And actually, you probably use this piece for. And what I take, oh, not pink, orange. Not orange, because we want to do our. Well, we could do it. No, we don't. Uh, I'll get right in a minute. We're doing the inside of that. We are doing the inside of those. So we do want pink. Sorry about that, people. I just kind of lost the plot there for a minute. Do you ever lose the plot when you're crafting? Or have you lost it before you started? Let me know. Answers on a postcard, please. Okay, so just put that. No, actually, I, well, it doesn't matter. It could be pink or orange or whatever colour you want. Okay, so that's that. So we're going to do, I'm going to do another, I'm just going to cut a bit more of this off here so I can do another circle in the middle, the other side. Okay. Do it any colour you want. Okay, just cut that out. I can't be on here too much longer because my husband comes back soon. So there we go. So that is your tape and we can do um, your little also got your little um, screws that hold it together on the outside. So I cut all these pieces out. It takes a little bit of time just to do one thing but I think we might do a video on each thing, on each um, decoration because I'd like to show you all of these. I'd like to show them all to you. Okay. Let me know what you think about that idea. Okay, so just drawing these out freehand. It doesn't matter if you do them too big because you can just cut them smaller, okay? So just cutting these out. <sighs> yeah, my fingers used to be a lot smaller than this. <laughs> a lot smaller, okay. And I'm not going to do any writing on the label because that will just be way too hot to... Um, Fiddly, but you could, if you could find stickers small enough, you might be able to put stickers in the middle or something. That's a label at the top, by the way, so you might be able to um, sorry, I'm just concentrating on cutting this out, okay, like this. Move that over a bit. And one more. And we will stick these together. Stick this together. And then normally I would have all this cut out, but I just thought this way you can see exactly how it's done, you know. Can see like the the um, sequence of everything if I do it this way. Okay, so just get rid of all this rubbish here. Okay, we're still going. I think we're still recording. Okay, so we're just going to stick this down, and then I'm going to leave it there. But we would be doing all the others in the same sort of way. So what I like to do first is before I stick these down 
is um, I like to put this on first in case I muck it up. So it's the only reason why, just in case it goes wrong. Okay, so if we just move that a bit further in, I'll just put some glue on there. Because once you've done it wrong, you have to do it all again, don't you? And I don't want to have to do the whole, the whole thing all over again. So just like to put a little piece of glue on that side like that and then oh no wrong way see what I mean you could just not do it right and then you've got to do the whole tape again so like that and then that one goes in there like that so I'm gonna just put some glue there. This is hot glue by the way in case you're wondering, that's what we use for what I use for this project, okay. Right, okay, so that goes on like that. And then we're just going to put our things either side like this. And then we're going to put the, the tiny pieces in the middle, like that. Okay. Right. Okay, and then you have got basically it's a lot easier to do it this way I think sorry I've got a bit of glue strings going on here people and it gets stuck to your fingers and it's like so I put this on like this And then this piece like that. Don't be careful not to hurt your fingers when you do it. Okay, that's your tape. Okay, and then we're just gonna put our little screws in around the edge like this. And so I'm thinking if you can see what I'm doing now um, that now you can see what I'm talking about because I've just started to do this um, that, that this roller skate is going to be a little bit more um, intricate because <laughs> it's got a lot of detail on it so we're gonna do that the same sort of way I think we're gonna cut this out and then we're gonna do the details the same okay so you could always at the first part of this actually let's just go I'm just gonna find the roller skate so I can show you so what I've done at first with this roller skate is I've actually just cut drawn around this and then cut it out again so I've got the template to draw around and then what I'm going to do is cut the details out separately and stick them on top okay but I'm going to come back and show you how to do that in the next video okay every video I come to show you that next will probably be based on these decorations that I've got here okay so we're not gonna that's just an example okay so I want that to be that way around, like that. So we'll have, there we go. You can sort of see that coming together already. You've got your tape there. And then you'll have, I was going to put I love 80s, but there's not really much room for that. So it's just going to be 80s. 
It is. <clears throat> Okay, like that. And we have our Rubik's Cube or whatever we have. Like that, okay. And your headphones in there, like that. Oh, actually, I might put the 80s over the top of some of this. So I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to sit this on yet, but we're just going to go with it. And you've got your panels. There's your panels. Okay, they will go down the side like that. And this one here had the controls on it. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's a bit close. Sorry about that, people. So that's how it, it would all go. And the controls, I think, go on here. And there's also TV where you can have controls at the top. And I think there's six to eight channels on there, I think. So, yeah, so that's how it's going to work. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be back to show you how to do the roller skate and all the other bits and uh, later on and um, yeah don't forget to press the like if you like what you saw and also you can also um, subscribe to my channel just by pressing the bell and um, you will get more videos just like this one and it also help the channel to grow okay everybody so everybody take care and uh, I'll see you again soon bye bye now